happy week two of old school April. It is a rainy, dreary day, but my soul is not dreary. It is light. It is uplifted. I don't know. At first, I couldn't think of what to say. I was like, what's a positive word? All right, so I've got a lot of reading updates for you guys. I finished some books. So at the end of my last vlog, I talked about how it was about 50% into this book, and I thought it might be a five star. I predicted it would be a five star read. And it was so cute. So this is a romance book written by Kate and Danny Temporelli. And they are a real life married couple. And Danny Temporelli is the actor who played Little Pete on The Adventures of Pete and Pete on Nickelodeon in the 90s. He was also in a lot of other 90s things. So essentially a child star from back in the day. But he's still doing really fun and really cool things today. He tours and talks about nostalgia with the actor who played Big Pete, which I think is really cool. And he's been doing books with his wife that are nostalgia themed, including this one. This is their first one together. They also have a new one coming out that I already pre-ordered because it looks so good and because I enjoyed this one so much. The covers match. The other one is like a light blue pretty cover. This one I love as well. This was so funny, heartwarming, and it made me very nostalgic but it didn't overwhelm you with the nostalgia. Essentially, it's very much based in semi-reality at first, but then it veers away from real life. So they took their actual real life meeting, like their meet cute that Kate and Danny actually had, according to the author's note, and they wove this fictional tale around it. So they kept how they kind of met through an app, but then they veered away and started writing a fictional story around that. So pretty cool. I really enjoyed how much this made me. No, I'm recording a clip. How the hell would I know that? It's pouring. I can't hear anything. I told you. Anyway. Now, how would I have heard that, too? I I do Unless not want you... eggs. I want toaster strudels, but we don't have them. Hey, you got Pop-Tarts. You gotta have all your sugar. I already ate the Pop-Tarts for the points. I need toaster strudels and eggos. And if you're talking to me again, I can't. Anyway. Okay. So back to the book. It was really funny it really made me laugh out loud at times and it's hard to do that for a book to do that specifically movies too but especially difficult with a book to make me laugh out loud but this one did and i do love how there was a lot of emotion the characters were well developed just i can't say enough positive things about this it really really met all my expectations and in fact it exceeded my expectations so so happy with the way this one went. It was such a nice, easy listen, and I also read along at times too. It was just relaxing. It was exactly what I needed, and it was my first five-star read of the month of April. Let's go, I'm hoping to have more. All right, so after that, I finished Bad Movie Night by Patrick Lacey. That one was really creepy, really eerie. It felt like it had some bigger elements at play, some mysterious elements that you don't really get the answer to. I ended up giving that a 4.5. I also started and finished, and I should even mention that I finished it quicker than I thought, Joey Lennard's last horror movie marathon. This one was a lot of fun too. I'm thinking, I just finished it not long ago, I'm thinking I'm going to give it a 4.5 star. Really, really love the ending especially. It was bonkers. This guy, he used to be a manager at a horror movie shop, kind of like Blockbuster. I say horror movie shop, just a movie shop, like, you know, a rental place like Blockbuster. And then it's closing down. He can't do anything about it. The owner of the shop wills him all the horror movies and in the bin of horror movies he finds this unmarked VHS and he watches it and then his reality starts to crumble from there. Fantastic. I'm thinking, like I said, 4.5 but it might be a 4. I don't know. I'm still debating on that but it was a lot of fun. It was definitely thematic for Old School April because it had old technology with the VHS and all these movie references that I love, including it referenced multiple times one of my favorite movies, Phantasm 2. So right off the bat, I was like, oh, it's almost like that alone deserves a 4.5 star rating because I love Phantasm 2. I don't think it gets enough love. I like it more than the first Phantasm. And it's just one of my favorite horror movies. And it was just so cool to see it mentioned and play a big part in this story. So love it, love it, love it. We'll see what I end up rating it after I think on it some more. Also, 
last night I started Dead Eleven by Jimmy Giuliano. This is the book club pick for Kelly and Crystal, their Death by TBR book club, but it's also the host rack of my friend Katrina. I'm 70 pages in so far, and it's a five-star prediction because I am enthralled, I am loving it, I am gripped. It is a very fast-paced weird story so far. We are looking back at things that happened on this creepy island and it's just things don't seem right there. There seems to be an evil there and we're getting told all these tidbits by this guy who's a writer but he's also looking for his sister who went missing essentially. There's more at play and there's probably gonna be lots more that unfolds but I'm only 70 pages in so that's what I know about so far and I'm loving it. I'm just loving it so much. This does have nostalgic vibes, but tons of nostalgia hasn't been thrown in our face yet. It's just a little hinted at here and there, but very much enjoying this so far. And that's my reading updates as of now. We'll see what I get up to. I did start a new diamond painting. I've been watching movies and stuff on the Discord, so I sprinted last night. We'll see what else I get up to. But until next time, guys, enjoy the B-roll, and I will check in later.
Say hello for the vlog. Remember that time we just vlogged and then we filmed each other, filming each other? Wait, I didn't... Your camera was off, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, look, everyone's saying hi to the vlog. Yay! Sprints! many days later it's the last day of the vlog it is sunday and i am excited so yesterday cat my friend came over she's also a co-host check out her channel cat snowball adventures she gave me freaking peeps but she also gave me this awesome seinfeld book the day of nothing look how cute they are little george little kramer little jerry little <laughs> it's so cute anyway we had a great day together we ate at piccadillys we freaking built a fort we played games and we got some points for our teams we're on two different teams but you know this proves that the competition isn't that serious snakes and kudas can get along snakes and parrots can get along kudas and parrots can get along you know everybody can get along all right i do have some reading updates i just started last night welcome to the tarot go round i spun an alphabet letter pickle we <laughs> I spun an alphabet picker wheel and it landed on W. So I could choose to pick a book with a title starting with the letter W or an author's first or last name starting with the letter W. I chose a whole bunch of book options, but this was one of them and the title does start with W. Welcome to the Tarago Round. So welcome, W. There you go. And I'm about, let's see, I'm very close to finishing this. I just... We got tired last night, so we didn't stay up later so I could finish it. 84 pages in, and it is only, I think, like 104 pages. 105 pages. Not bad. All right, so getting closer to the finish. Essentially, we've got these two kids. They're brothers. They're very close in age. They annoy each other. And the little brother gets the big brother roped into this carnival thing where they go to see this carnival it looks abandoned it looks suspicious that's because this is no normal carnival and they should have stayed away the younger brother should have listened to the older brother but he did not i am wearing a thematic shirt goosebumps i sprinted last night so i was wearing this last night because it's my pajamas but i'm wearing a new set of earrings for today for me i've got my thematic double r diner twin peaks mug i've been working on a diamond painting as I listened to, sorry for the glare, let me look over here. Here we go. See, it's Lisa Frank themed and my friend Lauren from Happy Haunts Library, check out her channel. She got me this. I'm about this far up. Still got a lot to go, but having so much fun. I always have a good time. My freaking ring light is glaring on my posters and stuff. I knew I should have moved it. Anyway, I have been listening to a book and I finished a book on audio while doing that diamond painting. It was The Cursed Among Us and I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it a four star rating. It was decent, had Stranger Things vibes. This group of kids, they're playing and making their own movie. Here comes Jax. Oh, Paul is home. Okay, so as I was saying, these kids, they are filming a movie in the forest that they're always warned to stay out of, and they accidentally wake up what seems to be an evil being, an ancient evil or something or other. Anyway, more ensues. The kids have to try to save the town from said evil, and it was fun. Like I said, I think it was a decent read. I would recommend it if you like old school vibes in your books, and... As I said, I gave it a four star. Not a standout read, but still a very good, entertaining read that I would recommend. I have been watching quite a bit. Let's see what my watch list says in my journal. So we watched Ghost Rider during the week because Amy showed that. Legends of the Hidden Temple episode and the Blue Barracudas one. Paul and I watched The Yellow Submarine. It's a Beatles movie from back in the day. And that was a freaking blast from the past. It's so weird. I played Beauty and the Beast on the Discord from 1991, and that was such a nostalgic trip. I love that. 
I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And today I'm playing Dennis the Menace. I also played cartoons yesterday, which we watched Ren and Stimpy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Garfield and Friends. And also, let's see, what else? Oh yes, and Andrew played an American movie, and that was really good. I had never seen it before. I really enjoyed that, actually. Unexpectedly enjoyed it. It was very, very interesting and weird, but in a good way. All right, so that's what I've been doing. Today is the last day. I'm hoping to maybe finish up Dead 11. I'm about 50% in and I'm still loving it. It's a five star prediction, at least a 4.5 star prediction at the very least. We will see. I will check in as the day goes on. Let's wrap up this vlog. Sorry if you could hear my computer, it's kind of loud right now. I've got my freaking hard drive plugged in because I am editing this vlog. I finished my last books. I finished this one, I only had about 20 pages left last time I checked in. This, it was fun, nothing mind blowing, giving it a three and a half star rating. I'm glad I read it. All right, and dun dun dun. dun you saw me put this into my journal. This was a five star. I am so excited that I love this. I predicted correctly that I was going to give this five stars. I knew right away that I liked the writing style. I liked the vibes. Everything was just going really well. The character development. I really like how it wrapped up. I don't know. It just worked for me. I know some people have criticized this book saying that it's a little bit too long. I didn't feel that way at all. I never felt like it dragged. It really read very quickly, especially because some chapters are formatted like text messages. And that read really fast. I listened as I read along, so I wasn't just physically reading. Maybe that helped too. But as you could see, this is like text messages. And there's also some interview clips too. Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So that's it for this week. I think I read a good deal for this week. So let's see. I read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. Because I really only read three books the first week. So seven books in the second week. Awesome. So it's officially the third week technically, but I am closing out this vlog. Gonna put this clip into the actual vlog that I'm editing right now. And I'll get started on week three. So week two was a success and I'm hoping week three will be just as successful. I only have one book going as of now. So I'll have to keep you updated as to what I start in terms of any new books and what I end up watching in week three. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video and for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. What have you been doing for Old School April? I hope you're participating and having as much fun as me. For this time though, that is it for me. Till next time guys, you know what you can do. Keep on killing it. Bye guys.